Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Alex, this is Tech Focus, and today we are taking a look at the LG Leon 4G again. So I know I've already done a review on this phone, but I actually wanted to redo it because I didn't like the quality or the way that I made my other video on this phone. I do have a clearer opinion on this phone because I have been using it since about August. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the specs. Now this thing really doesn't have great specs, but for the price I bet they're okay because it's only about £75 or $100. Um, it has a Snapdragon 410 and an Adreno 306 GPU, which really isn't the greatest of specs possible at all. And it only also has one gigabyte of RAM, which really isn't, again, another thing that you really wanna have in your phone. Uh, personally, before I had this, I had a Nexus 5, but that thing ended up in the typical Nexus bootloader um, reboot loop. So I sold it on eBay. And now I have this because I had to spend some more money on other things and other projects that I was working on. Now the performance of this phone really isn't that great. I've been using it whilst listening to music and say shopping on Amazon or on the internet in general and I've noticed that it has actually crashed quite considerably like, and quite epically it's crashed as well as in I have to restart the phone because there's just a massive error and it just won't. The performance otherwise if you're doing one thing at a time is quite good. I've noticed that Spotify and Amazon when they're both being used, so say I'm listening to music in the background whilst shopping on Amazon, it does actually create problems and the phone has crashed again quite considerably where I had to unplug the battery and things like that and I just think it's in general the Snapdragon 410 even though it's a quad core processor that can't really handle multitasking where something like the LG G3 or any other um, phone in a higher price range is probably gonna handle it better but don't hold me to that. Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is the appearance and the shape. Now this is a typical LG design where the buttons as in the lock button and the volume buttons are on the back just below the camera with a flash. So yeah you've seen this design in the LG G4, the G3 um, and pretty much every other LG phone that I can name really. The speaker also is on the back. Now this speaker really isn't very loud and when it does become loud it just becomes distorted there's re really no low end to it. It sounds more like a tweeter than it does a speaker, which is a shame. And then the front of the screen has a little LG logo there and a silver bar at the bottom, which suits it quite nicely. It does add a little bit of grip when you're holding it. There's a selfie camera on the front along with the light sensor and the phone call speaker. Now this phone call speaker is extremely loud. I've had to turn the volume down to about half just to be able to hear people when it's up against my ear. If I have it maximum volume, I kind of have to have it there because it's extremely, extremely loud. When it comes to the screen, it is a four and a half inch screen, which is an IPS panel. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a great resolution of 480 by 854. It's definitely um, not something that looks very nice and you can actually see pixels if you go quite close to it. It comes standard with eight gigabytes of internal storage and that is the only option that you get. But you can put a micro SD card into the phone like I have. I've put a 16 gig, you can put a maximum of 32 gigabytes and have that as extra storage. Now as you guys probably know by the name, this phone gets 4G, which is actually something that you don't really see very often in a phone that costs as little as this. This only costs 75 pounds or hundred dollars, which I've probably mentioned about 10 times in this video already. 4G is something that I love, it's, it's super fast, but it does eat your data a lot faster. The battery life, which is something that I actually quite like on this phone, it doesn't seem to eat through battery too much. It's only a 1900mAh battery. The battery life is okay, it only lasts me less than 7 or 8 hours um, of average use, I wouldn't say that's non-stop. Now the colour that it comes in is this colour which is called Titan. They also do a gold version. Now the last thing I'm going to talk about is the camera, and that's because I'm really disappointed with this camera. Now some of the photos that I've taken with this camera are actually really disappointing. The only ones that have actually turned out well are ones where I've literally just taken about 30 or 40 seconds just holding it there waiting for it to focus because the laser autofocus really isn't that good and it says that it shoots 1080p and it does just not exactly at a high bit rate and not exactly um, in a very high detail. When I'm walking around I don't tend to carry my camera with me or anything I just like snap photos of something as soon as I want to actually just take a photo of something and the fact that the camera doesn't seem to do very well at all is something that's disappointing. And it's only 5 megapixels, yeah, granted, but it says that it shoots 1080p, but I really don't actually believe that it is true 1080p because the bitrate isn't good enough. 
Now the last thing I'm going to talk about is the price. Now this phone comes in at £75, which is about $100. It's a decent enough price for what you get, but if you can squeeze a little bit more money, then I would just save up a little bit and get something like the Sony Xperia M4 Aqua, which is a much better phone and that will actually last you a much longer time. But anyway, that's pretty much this video, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Anything that you want me to change about this video, or any videos in the future, or anything that you want me to make a video about, leave it in the description. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!